Hi everyone, I'm Diagnose Dan, and in this video we'll be taking a closer look to one of our bulletins for the Mercedes ML W166. This document highlights a very common issue we see all the time on this model, and that's a complete failure, a complete no-com on the chassis CAN bus. If you're not familiar with this fault, getting to the root cause can be very time consuming. But in this video, I will not only give you the most likely cause of the issue, but also how to confirm this quickly and effectively. Chassis CAN is a very important part of the network and when it fails, several systems can stop working. And this can result in various symptoms, from a partial to a complete no com to a complete no crank, no start. We have seen it all. And to make matters even worse, sometimes the symptoms are even intermittent. Although many modules are connected to the chassis CAN bus, like the ignition lock, ABS computer, airbag computer, ADAS control module, and many, many more, it's almost always one of three radars that causes issues on the network. And that's either one of two radars behind the rear bumper for the blind spot detection, or the collision warning radar behind the front bumper. The radars are placed behind the bumpers, and they are placed in such a way that they're almost fully exposed to the elements. And we have seen that most of them will sooner or later develop a leak, and water will make it into the radar module. When moisture makes it into the electronics of one of the radar modules, in many cases this paralyzes the entire network. Up to 11 modules can be connected to the chassis network on this Mercedes. But since the network is down, we can no longer communicate. So how do we pinpoint which of the modules is responsible for bringing down the network? To be able to pinpoint what module is responsible for bringing down the network, you would have to disconnect each and every module from the network one by one until the network comes back to life. Now, in many cases, the modules are in hard to reach places. And in case of the radars, this would involve removing the bumpers to be able to disconnect them. And this can, of course, be very time consuming. But luckily, there's an easier and much faster way to do this. In front of the passenger seat, underneath the carpet on this model, there is a connector called X30-19. And that is a connector where all the modules on the chassis CAN bus are joined together. We can now hook up an oscilloscope to the chassis CAN bus and start unplugging each and every module from the network until the signal returns to normal. And when it does, we have found our culprit. Connector X30-19, the connector where all the modules on the chassis CAN bus are joined, has got 11 slots. So that means up to 11 modules can connect to it. When we look at a wiring diagram, each and every one of those slots has got its dedicated module. So let's say, for instance, slot 1 is connected to the front collision radar. When we unplug slot 1 and communication is restored, we would think that the front collision radar was bringing down the network. But this is where I have to warn you. This is not something we can rely on, because out of all the cases we have ever seen, we have yet to find one that matches the diagram. Since all the wiring colors on the chassis CAN bus are exactly the same and the connectors are not labeled, we suspect during manufacturing they're just randomly plugging in the connectors into X30-19. Luckily, there's another way to find out which module we have just unplugged. When communication is restored, we can use our scan tool and we can now communicate to all the modules but one the one we have just unplugged, our culprit. And you will see on this model, this is almost always one of the radars. I hope this video was helpful, and if one of these models makes it into your shop with exactly the same symptoms, you now know what to look for first. And you now know how to find the issue quickly and effectively. If you're interested in getting access to the bulletin described in this video, or thousands like it, then go to DiagnoseDan.com and learn all about how DDTSB can help your workshop save time, money, and stress.